not okay for you to take away something that's made us a whole and taught us valuable lessons to give it to someone else who hasn't worked as hard as we have. And we feel that this situation, this is okay. You got it, Mari. And Monday was Indigenous People's Day. That was today that Christopher Columbus, he took over and the Indigenous people land and just moved them away. And I wanted to tell y'all that today because that's what y'all are trying to do to our school. And y'all yeah. be trying to take us out of our school and move us to another place when we was there before. And I am enraged that you are trying to close our school because we are a level one school and our academics are amazing. We have Great. We were a level three school in the past year. But we've grown to become a level one school, which is amazing. We know the struggle. We know how it is to fight. We know what it feels like to be forgotten. But now we're in the, we're in the air. But here, I'm here to tell you that we shouldn't close NTA. NTA is an amazing school like our artist did. NTA is The, the gubernatorial debate the other day and they had some questions too. Some of them did agree with us and they said that they will stand with us and help and make sure that they can do what's needed to help us keep our school open so it will benefit the younger kids that is going there since we are in eighth grade and basically we felt very appreciative because we've seen that people are standing with us and we're not the only ones and we're showing that we do have a voice as a young group of kids and students. So wait a minute. children behind me are all smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. That's actually not true. But if they lose the type of educational advantage they have, it will be the equivalent of one pack of cigarettes a day. That is the harm that is being chosen to inflict on these children to the benefit of someone else.
respectfully engage with city council members. They have respectfully engaged with members of the school board, and it didn't work. So they're not being respectful anymore. And so when you see them in here being loud and you shake your heads, keep in mind that there's a reason for that. They tried to follow the rules. And you know who else followed the rules? The 12,000 children who were displaced in the last school closures. They followed the rules. And 88% of those children were black. So Today at 325, the judge granted our... Yeah!